Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922. Okay. Last review of the weekend. Left the last one. Here's the Here's what I'm finding out. Okay, this is this is what I'm finding out about myself. When the weekend comes in, and I gotta do my reviews for, you know. Jojo, To Love Rue, To Love Rue wasn't this week. By the way, to everyone who's watching this video, To Love Rue, the next episode's not going to happen until next week. Because they, they, they skipped it a week. Um, when I do my Jojo review, To Love Rue review, Fairy Tale chapter, Kanichi chapter review, and then I get into the One Piece and Sword Art Online, I don't want to do the Fairy Tale review. First, I want to do it last. Now, what do I mean by that? Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. The arc is good. But here's the problem. This arc, it, it, seeing it reanimated is good and all. But seeing it again... A second time is like draining. It's like, ah. Uh, and this is the only thing, this is the only thought that crosses my mind when I think about this arc. Thank God Raven's Hair was eliminated. When it did. When, 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 when they were. When they were. Because. That guild, it should be in a circus. So, so basically, what happens is this: the fair, the the Raven Tail Guild. The entrance of the guild should say, "Welcome to the zoo. Welcome to where the freaks are." Because everyone in that guild are freaks. Freaks. They belong in a carnival, and Ivan's the the master. Yes, do that for me, Flare. Jump through the flaming hoops. Yes, Dara Pudding, go uh, put your face on a toilet bowl. <laughs> yes, that's why I said it. Dara Pudding, you belong in the category of Caesar Clown. You have what I like to call the rape face. Rape face! But yeah, let's get into this. Obviously, this was day one of the competition. We had, the funny part, Mavis. Miles was explaining the rules. I was like, ugh. And she's like, oh, cutesy and everything. And she's she's explaining the rules. And she's explaining what teams go up. And so on and so forth. And she doesn't mention the other teams. <laughs> she just mentioned Fairy Tale. I was like, ugh. But anyway, we had that. And we had the beginning of the match, pretty much. Once again, now we're putting... He should be on America's most wanted. Yes. If you see this man with the butt, chin, and the blonde hair and purple skin, call America's Most Wanted immediately because technically he is a fucking rapist. Thank you very much. That's what he is. He belongs America's Most Wanted. Now I'm putting. And this is the one thing I'm beginning to realize about this character. And I pray, I can't, I, I wonder, the person who plays Naro Pudding, the voice actor, why does it sound like he's got fucking marbles in his mouth? <laughs> it was really creepy, and it just creeps me out. So, Naro Pudding, you are, without a doubt, if there was a troll, or a freak, or a weirdo, or somebody you just don't like, it's not a He is a rapist, he's a freak of nature, and he needs to be killed. <laughs> Thank God, Raven Tail was fun. <laughs> That's all I have to say. And going into the episode, like I said, we had the, the competition, first part. First competition of day one, and... We had, um, 
Well, you know, everyone's seen this part in the manga, but, but pretty much, you know, we had, you know, Grey keep getting attacked by Naru Pudding while, and never getting any points. And then you have to say Rufus. I like how they did that sequence with Rufus. Rufus was beast in this chapter, this episode. I thought that was done very nicely. They, basically what they did was, when he attacked them, everything went dark. And the people who were the actual mem uh, participants in the, to in, the, in the competition glowed with this golden glow around them. And he just attacked them with the, the, st night, the, the starry, uh, night of a starry night, you know, move and just attacked all of them. And uh, uh, uh Gopu's like, look, I did this. Oh, guess what? <laughs> You're dead. Go get it. Go get a fuck. Go. go. Nara Pudding. Here's what I have to say about Nara Pudding. Go. You need to go see a uh, um plastic surgeon. That's what you need to do. And you need to tell the guy, uh, I want this chain ripped off, like pronto. Because I'm telling you right now, hero, you must have been on really bad crack. When you were Joe in our pudding. He's such a fucking freak. And he's a rapist. Yes. He's a rapist. He goes home. And he says. <laughs> he's looking. He's looking for a woman to rape. That's the way I look at it. Man. It's just nasty. But that's the, the from thoughts on this chat. This episode. I really like that. That was done very well. The Rufus thing. When he attacked them. I thought that it was very well. Very interesting how they did that. We also had the, you know, Flair. Flair, I like how they did her. But this is a question that's been bugging me since I've seen it, since I saw her and saw the intro. Why is it that her hair seems like she, her hair can go on fire? Because that's what it seemed like. When did, I mean, w next week we'll find out the truth behind her power. We'll find out how they do it. But it seems like her hair turns into fire. Which I did not understand. But yeah. And we had the, like, the thing between Flair and, and Lucy. And, you know, Rufus. Just being Rufus. He just dominated. And, you know, I still question... How Hero, there's, I'm pretty sure, he's, I'm not alone on this, question how Hero did that fight between Rufus and, uh, Rufus and Grey. Like, it could have been so much more if Rufus put up more of a fight. But, you know. This episode, 4 out of 5, was good. Was good. Except, you know what I'm putting. Like, where do you go to get a chin like that? Because that's like, he must go to a school. How to rape. Make sure you have a big chin with devilish hair coming out of it. And make sure you have blonde hair and purple skin because that works well with the ladies. <laughs> it's just like, God damn it, hero. This guy screams rapist. So yeah, he just creeps me the fuck out, not reporting. He just, ugh. If there was a war to be, if he, and there are some weird looking characters in Raven Tail, but he, 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 he scores number one. Oh, number one. Number one. In fact, I prefer Flair over him. Hell, I'll prefer that snake guy. I forgot his name, I apologize. Over Nara Pudding. Nara Pudding is just, a freak, and you know what they should have done? Not lot when we went during the part, you know, Loxus against them. He should have just deformed his chin back to normal. <laughs> Come on, he's a freak. But you know, it was a good episode. Like I said, Rufus, Rufus was done well. I like that. That's one of the reasons why I'm giving this a four out of five. Now, moving forward, 
We'll see how they do next week because here's the thing, and, and I more or less want to talk more about next week than this week's, but this week, like I said, Rufus, motherfucking win, pretty damn good. I like how they did that. Um, now our pudding's a fucking rapist. <laughs> That's all I got for that. But next week's special because I'll tell you why. There are th several things to look for next week in this episode, for next week's episode. Number one, flair. Because I think they might have given her hair a little like, it looks like it's on fire, which is weird. That's number one. Number two, the way Lucy performs that spell against flair and has it negated. What are they going to do in the anime for that? That's another question to think about. Because, you see, when it happened in the manga, it just happened and now is it. And it got negated. And we know if somebody did it. Now, for the anime, are they going to do it like that? They're just going to leave it the way it is and say, oh, nothing happened? Or are we going to see that guy actually do something? So, yeah, those are the real questions for next week. But this week, Rufus... Man, Rufus is... I still wonder how... Hero could have done it that way. It should have been a lot... Rufus and Grey should have been a lot more hyped up than it was. You know? It really should have been. But, yeah. What are you going to do? But anyway, this was a good episode of Fairy Tale. Nara Pudding needs to go go um to prison. Yes, I said it. He needs to go to prison. He's a criminal. He rapes women. Because you got a face like that. You, you know you're a rapist. I'm sorry if I offended anyone with that comment. But he's a fucking freak. This guy is a freak. <laughs> Looking at him makes me go blind. I'm like, oh, God. Get away from me. Just leave. <laughs> leave. I'm so glad Raven Tail was eliminated. It was so, he's so fucking ugly. Oh. But anyway, good episode. Um, and yeah, Rufus, I, I you know, I, I think he was, um, I like, I like his character, Rufus. He, he's very interesting and how he stood up there and he did everything, you know, it was done very well. So yeah, this has been Bonkai922. I'll see you guys later. Next week, Lucy. <laughs> That's not going to be pretty, but we'll see how it goes down. See ya.